Okay, so just it's skip that part. You're just jealous. You know, at least you like improve and you like talk all of it. Well, I mean, listen, guys, you got to color the class with, with some some stuff, you know, because they're not a with knowledge well, on the topic. Like, video yeah, but that takes. Yeah, it just. All right, I think we're recording now. Wait. Give me one second. Am I recording? Uh, no. Yes. Whiteboard. OK, so what we're going to do is going to review now. So this would have been your test and it says write down the following expansion. So the first one, I mean, you know, how could you have done this? Um, the way I would have done it is I would have first figured out. So some of you did it like this. You wrote it out. Wait, let me write in black. Um, you, you went ahead and went, OK, let me just this. This means this. Wait, let me put the square. Right, you did this and you just expanded it, which is okay. I, I was willing to accept that because it wasn't too bad, it was to a third power. But what I would have liked to have seen is that you automatically would have done this. Like, you know that this is gonna be X to the six plus twice X to the six, Y to the fourth plus Y to the fourth, right? And then, that's what would have happened there, and then you would have expanded that. Well, I mean, I haven't checked it, right? I'm not that I don't trust you guys are not changing your answer, but I did the top. If the top counts, then I did that. Put the stub so you okay. They didn't listen. <laughs> All right, so so there. I mean, so far, so far, so good. You know how to do that. You just foil, right? Um, you do twice the, the, the two terms, right? When you multiply them. And then now you can end up with, now this is the part which kind of makes it difficult because you're gonna go X to the six times X to the third, that's X to the ninth. Then you go X to the six times Y to the second, that's X to the six, Y to the second, right? And then you have two X to the six, Y to the fourth times X to the third, that's 2x to the ninth, y to the fourth. Then you have 2x to the sixth, y to the sixth, right? Because you, you add the exponents. And then the last one will be x to the third, y to the fourth, right? And then you have y to the sixth. Eh, no. Take a look if you can combine like terms. If you can't, you're done. And that's it. So I think that that was a very low level, easy question to do. There was no need to use the binomial theorem. I mean, you could have used the binomial theorem if you wanted. Now, what irks me about this, let me just make sure I got it right. Because I don't see it. Another what? Well, five times is, is more difficult. Um, well, no. Let, um, the binomial theorem allows for the expansion of it. Um, give me one second just to verify that I gave you good notes because I don't want to post anything that's not good. Right. Um, I mean, all of it's not good, but whatever. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cheat with my calculator and do uh, x to the third. Where's that x at? Oh, well, here it is. x raised to the third power uh, plus, oops, no, plus y to the second. And then, of course, we can't end there because ending there would be great. Just making sure that I put all the exponents properly and raise that to the third. And it's x to the ninth 
plus x to the six y to the second plus it's telling me three x to the third y to the fourth plus y to the six. So I don't know why I'm getting something different here. Okay, then that means when I multiplied here something, I didn't get the, my exponents right because they, then, then two of them combine here and then they didn't combine for me. So let's see, we can spot my mistake. So back, 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 back. Back, 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 my problem here was x, here it is. For some reason, I multiplied these exponents and I didn't have to. So there was my mistake. So x to the third times x to the third is x to the six. Sorry, I meant to write to the second. There it is. And now everything is going to fix itself. So remember, x to the third times x to the third is x to the six, and then you have this one, and then you have this one, and that's going to make twice that plus y to the fourth. So now when we go through the nonsense that I just went through, x to the six times x to the third is x to the ninth, uh, plus x to the six times y to the second, plus uh, 2x to the 6, y to the second, plus 2x to the third, y to the fourth, plus x to the third, y to the fourth, plus y to the six. You're going to be able to combine like terms for this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy. So now you're going to end up having x to the ninth plus three x to the six y to the second plus three x to the third y to the fourth plus y to the six. There's four terms, one, two, three, four. If you do Pascal's triangle, you have one, 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 two, one, one, three, three, one. You can see one, three, three, one manifests itself there. And then the question was, you know, how the exponents are gonna come along. Now, if you did n zero, blah, 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 you still get it right. It is a lot easier than that. Okay, so this is one way you could have done it. But the next way was to use that binomial theorem. I'm going to go ahead and write it quickly, but that means I got to erase this. Okay, so you could have done it that way. As you can see, that way the problem is that if you mess up on any of your exponents, you won't see it till the end. So now look, I think so. Is it recording? Yes. So now... Look, three zero x to the third to the third y to the second to the zero plus three one x to the third to the second y to the second to the first plus three two x to the third to the first, y to the second to the second, plus three, three, x to the third to the zero, y second to the third. So then can you just keep, so when it's like fought right after falling expense, you go all the way so it like goes. Yep. 
this is the easiest way to do it, to follow that, that theorem that's written on the board. So you have one X to the ninth. So a lot of people want to do X to the sixth there, but three times three is nine. The Y to the second to the, uh, to the zero is Y to the zero, which is just one, you know, then you have three, one, which is three C one. And then this is X to the sixth, Y to the second plus three X to the third, Y to the fourth plus, and the last one is one times one times Y to the six. And, and now this is so much easier to do. And it's a lot quicker. It's a lot quicker, right? It's a lot quicker. I think, I think as long as you understand how to do this, this would have been easy. I'm not sure on the review how I did it. I think I did it this way. Okay. So really, is that difficult? I have no. a question. Go ahead. Let's say you do the Pascal's triangle way. I'm fine. How do you? It's like mental math. Okay, so. Triangle no, no, and, like, no. Figure it out the rest of the way. That's not my question because no. I didn't do that because I was confused. Why don't you I use did. Pascal's triangle? How do you figure out the exponents? That's it's tough. You have to be clever. It's one and then one, two, one, then one, three, three, four, six, three, four, six, So it's so it's. I, I know, but how do you, like, do you look there and like, Oh, for the exponents? The exponents. So you basically count it down. So, so like once we do the expression, it's going to be x to the 9th and then x to the 6th. So then the x goes down to y goes up. So I did it in my head. So I didn't put any work. I just wrote it down. Yeah. I would recommend if you're going to do Pascal's. Here's the thing. Pascal triangles will give you the. Does it just it gives you the coefficients, but sometimes you get something complex like 2x to the third plus I don't know, y to the four third, something weird like that. And now all of a sudden, Pascal's triangle makes it so much because you have to be have a really good imagination to figure out how the exponents are going to work themselves out. But here it's obvious, like you do it and the exponents just work themselves out for you. So so hey, don't do Pascal's triangle. If you look at my paper, I if you look at my paper, you literally will see Pascal's triangle. I wrote it and I just gave up. I was like, nah, I don't want to do that. I went to the next much time. I have but no, how long did this take? It didn't take long. Okay, so for this one, for example, look at the next number two. How would you figure that out? I did that. Bottom 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 bottom. Bottom. Okay, so so let's I'll, I'll go. I'll write it as a plus b to the nth, right? That's n r uh, a to the n minus r b to the r, right? And so you're going to write 2 minus 5x to the 6. That's uh, 6r. Let's just leave it r for now. 2 to the 6 minus r, uh, negative 5x to the r. And we're saying, we ask ourselves, well, how can we make the x to the third power? r would be what? 3. So, so far, so good. Right? 3. You've got to put the negative for the... You, okay, that's important because if you omit the negative, it's no good. So now let's go ahead. What's six C three? Well, let's go to our calculator menu. Probability combination six comma comma three. Uh, where's the comma? Comma three and twenty. So this becomes twenty. Then you have times two to the third times negative five to the third times X to the third. And now you do the whole math, right? That's 20, two times two is four times two is eight times eight times uh, negative one, negative 125. And then you get, oh, negative 20,000. It's a big number, but it's not like, no, I didn't put Okay, so what happens if you didn't put the negative? You just, and the test, it won't just take a few points off, but you, you see? But but here's the thing, if you know how to do this, if you know how to do this, then all you got to remember to do this is to just do six, zero, six, one, six, two, six, three, and remember as it goes through. Six, four, six, five, six, six. Make sense? Okay, and now, 
Again, now we have number three, expand. You had choices to make. Again, I would have accepted like the slow expansion. Um, you know, you could, do you wanna do it the long way? Here, try doing it the long way. Practice makes perfect. While I the go, the long way, as in like the way I did it, or like this way. Like the way that way. Practice, go. Make it happen. Can I get extra credit for this? Okay, but see, this is practically on the tape for a normal mistake. She's not gonna get help. So technically, if she got it wrong, hold on. Hold on. Make sure you get the right. Make it look pretty though. Okay, you're making me kind of panic. Okay, hold on. Alright, so start. Pretend like you're me. Say hello, I'm people. like, if I'm that with you, it's like, what? Hello, wonderful people. <laughs> hello, wonderful people. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> you want me to do it? No, wait, 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 wait. She just screamed at me for doing pastel triangle. <laughs> The thing is, that's how I have to do it. If not, I'm gonna get it wrong. Oh, this is Ed. Okay, I figured it out. Okay, I got this. I got this. <laughs> okay, can I show you something? You could zoom in on here and write bigger, but it would come out smaller. Oh, I don't have this. Okay. Just write smaller. X, okay, right, okay. And then it's the well, regular formula, N minus three. So in this case, it'd be three. three minus, no, it's my zero. Okay, I am on a roll. Okay, I figured it out. I like 2,000 under stuff. No, zero, zero, zero. And it's three, so if you want to put that up here, up here already. I, I'm getting confused. We're going to have to go. Okay, oh, yes, you're right, you're right. So this is a three. Wait, how do you erase? Oh, God. Um, flip this around. Flip this around? Oh, look at that. Okay. He's going to come back and be like, what did you do? <laughs> Right, yes. Crap. Oh, I can't say that. <laughs> I'm going into the other question. Okay. You could lasso it, make it smaller. I can also actually lasso it and bring it a little bit to the left. That's all I need. Okay, wait. I think I messed up. Did I mess up? No. No. Not yet. You need to add the plus sign between them. That's in my head. They're there. In your head, they're there. Okay. And then Y is three. Okay. Now I need it. I don't remember it. Oh, I just I do something. Okay. I did something. Um, this is a one times that's x to the third. Uh -huh. There's one. Yes. Plus the next one's three. Three. Yes. And then it's times x to the second. Yes. Y. Yes. Okay, I think I'm getting it. Can I show my mom this yes, video? Three as well. <laughs> is it is it three two? Yeah. Okay. X to the first. And then y. Y to the two. And then that's what that's one. one. X to the zero. And y to the three. And now finish. Make it look pretty. Do it like a rainbow under. So would you rainbow? I got this. Like rainbow color. Okay. I got this. Okay, I got this. So you gotta finish it. I mean, I can tell you there, but three. I thought that was done. Oh, it's so pretty. Yes. I know. Okay, so three. Okay, so that's three. <laughs> y so y so plus. So far, Three, Since we're reviewing six, it and hopefully you're paying attention, two, you see that the test is not out of your capability. It's, it's well within your capability. Okay, Is that's right. Like, oh my God, I'm. Study. Yes, thank you for saying the truth. <laughs> it's not outside of your capabilities. Well within your capabilities, you just okay. had to. You didn't have to okay. open There you go. <laughs> hey. It, it literally took nothing for you to do this. Oh, no, you missed the meat panicking for like two minutes. It's so much easier. Why would you do binomial theorem if the other way is uh, Okay, so in, in this case, binomial theorem actually was easier than expanding. Here's why. Hear me out. For x plus y, we're, we're going to foil. If we actually foil, we have to waste that time and then waste a second time. 
Um, what happens is for the third power, for second power, it's probably not worth doing binomial theorem. But as you go beyond, or if I want you to figure out a specific term in the expansion, you're right, but 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 it wasn't that bad. So past twelve triangles, you already have the triangle written on top. You just put the coefficients down. Yeah, but but if that if it's just not x and y. You gotta start being very clever. I know, but let's say let's say this was. I don't know. Look, what if what if you had three x to the one third plus two thirds y to the five fifths to the third power? Yeah. Go the, ahead. Those aren't the questions that the I know, I know. But what I'm trying to say is, what I'm trying to say is, you pick the tool which is makes it as easy as possible. X plus Y to the eighth power, you can do it with Pascal's triangle. And you know you're gonna start with, with X to the eighth, Y to the zero, plus X to the seventh, Y to the first, and so on. You're gonna keep on going down the line and you're just fine. But if it becomes any more difficult, then it, binomial theorem, the expansion with binomial theorem is far superior. Okay, make sense? All right. That means that you can do the next one as well, right? The next one is, remember the, the big deal about the review was that this one actually really meant this, right? It really meant this. Yes, to the fourth. Who wants to do this one? Victoria, you want to do it? You. I will Here. do it in Pascal's triangle. No, no, do it. Do it. No, no. I we know, know we know you know how to do it. I want to see how I do it. Okay, go do it with Pascal's triangle, but I want to erase it. So, <laughs> so the coefficients for Pascal's triangle are one. Oh, that's really big. <laughs> it's one, four, six, four, one, right? So then you just go down. And you do oh, oh, hello. Oh, you went up. Just, just, um, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, don't I don't worry. know how to use this. Go back. If I can't use this, I can't see how we can use this. This is how I do it. So. Okay. And then you replace all of them. So it'd be. What? You're getting so disappointed. Oh my God. 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 So you're going to put the powers, right? I will. At the end. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so what she's doing is she wrote her coefficients. Yeah, yeah. She's saying that this will take care of x and this will take care of y. Okay, but now she needs to put the exponents, and the exponents need to start from a high from the highest power. So the power here, the highest power was four, four zero. Then she goes three one, two two, one three. Yes, yes. So I do this and then you just solve all of them. But what, okay, but where are the x and the y's? This is the x. Oh, because because okay. And then this Here, is the make, y. Make sure this oh. is the make sure make sure um, oh yeah. Make sure it's four no, five. Victoria, <laughs> Victoria. Right the first time. Um so <laughs> okay. So so what she did is she did binomial theorem. <laughs> she didn't do anything different. Think about it. You just did this binomial theorem. This is ten theorem. times easier in my brain, though. I, like I know. I think about it, this is easier. But, but what? A, I know. But here's what you did. Look, look. look. You just did binomial theorem because brain. you went four zero, and then you I went. To combine my terms. Here you don't have to worry about that because when I combine my terms, if I do it too quickly, I forget about it. Mama, like, you did four zero. And then you wrote three to the fourth. Yeah. And then you wrote 
two X to the zero. And then you roll three, one. I'm not even gonna erase your stuff because you did binomial theorem. You just refused to acknowledge that you did it. No, because I refused to write down this and remember it. When you do those numbers, when you do these numbers here, all you're doing is this. 4C1 is four. It's just easier for me to see it like this and understand it this way. I know, but, but listen, look, look. It's the same thing. You did the same exact thing. Got it? I want you to understand that you are doing binomial theorem whether you like it or not. Is, I know. I know, I know, but. You're doing this wrong. You're doing this wrong. You're doing it wrong. All right. So. Yeah, I just, I, I, I'm, I'm at 3.848 in class right now. I already know it's going to drop down. All right, so, all right, so here's the challenge. Next class, you're taking two. You're taking the retake of chapter nine. We'll start with this one. You can take chapter eight and nine. That means you got more study to do. Okay, so now let's look at, all right, number five wasn't an issue. Yes. Of course, why not? If you did well, you did well. Correct. If you did well, if you got a. All right, let's say you got. All right, let's just say this. If you got an A today, you don't have to retake it. Now, if you're happy with a B or a C, you can tell me, Mister. I'll just take. I don't know. It depends which one you got wrong. Because obviously, obviously, getting this one wrong is not the same as getting this one partially right. Yeah, so let's see. You know, obviously. So don't stress. All right, this one. This one was n factorial minus n minus r factorial times r factorial. That's seven factorial divided by seven minus three factorial times three factorial. So that's going to be seven factorial divided by four factorial times three factorial, which comes out to, I don't know. Uh, seven times six times five divided by six. I, you want me to do all the math without skipping anything? Okay, that's 35. I don't, did you guys complain about that one? No. no. Okay. If you give me a grade with all of that, like, I was like, yeah, that's like just a page of factorial. All right. Now tell me, tell me the first three terms. Seven, zero, right? Yes. One, go. No, no, I have the first three is seven zero seven one seven two, right? Yes. Okay, I'm like I had to do seven three. No, because I was like debating it. Yeah, that's yeah, because seven seven zero. Okay. One to the negative six x squared to the plus seven one one to the six negative six x squared to the seven two. One to the negative six x squared to the. It's not difficult. I know, but you didn't study. How about, how about. I know you guys are worried about grades, but the grade is not interesting here. What's interesting here is. You can go next door. You can go next door and argue that with my mother. <laughs> I mean, I I understand. I understand that we want to focus on the extrinsic. We should always focus on our intrinsic motivations. My intrinsic motivation is not to pay a little bit in my house. <laughs> Right? What's seven C two gonna give you? Um oh um is it like <laughs> nobody nobody wants twenty one twenty one twenty one okay so plus twenty one times one times thirty six x to the four what's twenty one times thirty six some big number right uh, 
756? Yes. Okay. I think I did that right. I think it's, I don't know. Wait, it has a battery in it. Wouldn't it be negative? No, because negative times negative is a positive. Okay. And the last one, okay, let's finish this one up so I can, you know, start grading. Idea. All right, so we're going to end up with x to the 6, y to the 8th. That's what we want to end up with. So we're going to write this as, and again, this is the advantage of binomial theorem. So remember, a plus b to the n is equal to n r, x to the n minus r, y to the r. And so that's 2x minus 3y to the 14th power is 14r. Uh, 2x to the 14 minus r and uh, negative 3y to the uh, r. All right. So obviously we're going to pick what well, well, r is 8. So good? Yes. Hey, you guys sound like you understand. Yes, the back was great. The front was a headache. Yeah, the back was definitely front. What's 14 C8? Uh, 3,003. Yes. 3, I kind yeah. of remember that too. I remember it because this was an old homework question. No, we did on the review. We did like well, we did this in the homework. We did in the review. We got it here. I remember it for you. That's and then there was like a little bit of the homework. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.